Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to evaluate sigma notation using its properties. So, may anim tayong properties na gagamitin dito guys. Una, the summation notation of C times F of I from I equals M to N. So, dito yung C is constant. Then, yung F of I natin, yan yung term ng ating summation. Okay, so same lang yan guys, pag nilabas natin yung C doon sa ating sigma notation. So, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. We have C times the summation of F of I from I equals M to N. Okay, so parehas lang siya ng value. Next, yung pangalawang property natin. If the term natin guys is composed of two or more terms, kagaya dito we have binomial. Pwede raw natin isa i-distribute yung ating sigma notation. Okay? So, same lang yan guys nung the summation of f of i plus minus the summation of g of i. Okay? Next is, next property natin is pina-evaluate sa atin yung summation ng constant. So, since c is any real number or constant, Uh, para makuha natin yung summation niyan, guys, is i-multiply nyo lang si C by N minus M plus 1. Okay? So, just in case, guys, na si M is equals to 1, so, pwede nating i-apply itong property na to. So, just multiply by C to N. Okay? So, may evaluate na natin yung summation ni C. Next property natin, we have the summation of i from 1 to n. So, ang shortcut natin dito, we have n times n plus 1 over 2. Then, kung ang i naman natin is may square, ang summation daw niyan is equals to n times n plus 1 times n plus, times 2n plus 1 all over 6. Okay. So, let's have example number 1. Expand the following sums and simplify if possible. Number 1, the summation of 4i minus 5 from 1 to 30. So, dito guys, kumuapansin nyo yung upper bound natin is medyo mataas, 30. Tama? So, kung i-evaluate natin yan using yung um, ginagawa natin dun sa ating previous video, kung saan isusulat natin yung 1 to 30 natin, so medyo mahaba. Tama? So dito, i-apply natin yung mga properties natin ng sigma notation. So first, so since binomial yung ating uh, term, pwede nating i-distribute yung ating sigma notation. Okay, so that is uh, the summation of 4i from 1 to 30, then minus the summation of 5 from 1 to 30. Tama? So, since uh, dito yung 4 is constant, so again, pwede natin yan ilabas. Okay, applying the other property. So, that is the same as the 4 times the summation of i from 1 to 30 minus the summation of 5 from 1 to 30. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na nating i-apply yung mga property natin. So, sa una, pwede nating i-apply uh, itong property na to. Tama? Where n is equals to 30. So, ang itsura niyan, magiging 4 times n, which is 30, times 30 plus 1 over 2. Okay? Okay? Minus, so since 5 is constant, so pwede natin i-apply itong summation ng constant, which is C times N. Tama? So that is equivalent to 5 times 30. Okay, so kung isi-simplify natin yan, we have uh, 4 times, this is 30 times 31. Tama? So, 30 times 31 divided by 2, that is 465 minus 5 times 30, this is 
So, kung isi-simplify natin to guys, 4 times 465 minus 150, that is equals to 1,710. Okay, so therefore, the summation of 4i minus 5 from 1 to 30 is equals to 1,710. Okay? So next, let's have example number 2. The summation of 2 times the quantity of i minus 1 plus 2 from 1 to 20. Okay, first, uh, simplify natin yung ating term. So distribute natin to. Okay, so we have the summation of 2i minus 2 plus 2 from i equals 1 to 20. Okay, so in this case, makakancel yung ating negative 2 and 2. Tama? So, since uh, may constant doon sa ating i, so pwede natin yan ilabas doon sa ating sigma notation. Okay, so we have 2 times the summation of i from i equals 1 to 20. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na natin i-evaluate yung ating uh, sigma notation by using the property of the summation of i from 1 to n, which is equals to n times n plus 1 over 2. Okay? So, dito yung n natin is equals to 20. Tama? Ito yun, yung ating upper bound. So, simplify na natin. So, that is 2 times n, which is 20, times 20 plus 1 over 2. Okay? So, pag sinimplify natin yan, guys, we have uh, makakancel yung 2. So, that is 20 times 21. Tama? So, pag minultiply niyo yan, guys, 20 times 21, that is 420. So, therefore, the summation of 2 times i minus 1 plus 2 from i equals 1 to 20 is 420. Okay? So, next, let's have example number 3. The summation of 3i square plus 5 from 1 to 10. Okay, so since binomial yung ating term, so pwede natin yan i-distribute. So that is the summation of 3i square from 1 to 10 plus the summation of 5 from 1 to 10. Okay? So, since 3 is constant, so pwede natin yung ilabas dun sa ating sigma notation. So, that is 3 times the summation of i square from 1 to 10 plus the summation of 5 from 1 to 10. Okay? So, this time, so since may square yung ating i, so pwede natin i-apply yung formula na i square or the summation of i square from 1 to 10 is equals to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. Tama? So, in our case, ang ating n is equals to 10. Okay? Yung ating upper bound. So, that is 3 times n which is 10 times 10 plus 1 times 2 times 10 plus 1 all over 6 okay then plus so dito naman since constant si 5 so i-multiply lang natin si 10 kay 5 so that is 5 times 10 okay so simplify natin to guys so maka-cancel yung 3 and 6 natin dito so magiging 2 na lang yan so, ang numerator natin, we have 10 times 10 plus 1, this is 11, times 2 times 10, that's 20 plus 1, so we have 21 over 2, plus 5 times 10, this is 50. Okay? So, simplify natin, we have 10 times 11, 
times 21 divided by 2 that is 1155 plus 50 so this is 1205 okay so therefore the summation of uh, 3i square plus 5 from i equals 1 to 10 is equals to 1,205. Nakuha guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano mag-evaluate ng sigma notation using its properties. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!